Hey chat, welcome in. Today I'm going to show you how to get a Surfetched in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And the reason why we're making a video is because it's not straightforward. It's not just catch a Farfetch'd and then level him up and he turns into a Surfetched. He's very unique. And what I'm going to show you in this video is what you gotta do. And then I'm going to show you how we actually did it in a live stream. And while we're doing that, it's going to explain why we did what we did in order to turn a Farfetch'd into a Surfetch'd. So let's get into it here. First off, the whole way you turn a Farfetch'd into a Surfetch'd is you got a critical hit three times in one fight. And you're like, oh, critical hits, those don't happen that often. But don't worry, we got you. I'm gonna make it so it's 100% guaranteed you're gonna get a Farfetch'd into a Surfetch'd. So first off, to get a Farfetch'd, if you have Pokemon Shield, you have to trade for him because he is a sword exclusive. What's really nice is if you do get a Farfetch'd traded to you, he's always gonna get more EXP every single battle. Or she, I think mine might be a she, I can't remember. Either way, it's always gonna get more EXP every single battle. And that's a huge bonus towards the end game. If you have Pokemon Sword, you can just catch him. So to catch him, you need to go along the town map here and check out Route 5. I believe Route 5 is right after, what, Turf Field? Which I think is the first gym, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the Grass Gym. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the Grass Gym. And then all along, all along Route 5, you can catch your Farfetch'd. He's a rare spawn, so be patient in case he doesn't show up right away. But once you catch him, you can turn him into a Surfetch'd basically immediately because he doesn't have any level requirements. He just needs the three critical hits. So how do we get three critical hits in one fight and make sure it's gonna happen no matter what? It's really simple, actually. So you go into your items here and you need to have an item, or it'd be nice if you had an item. I don't think it's required. I think the dire hit's gonna be more important, but you get a large leak. The large leak can be found as a wild area item, as one of those sparkling little things on the ground. I also believe you can catch a Farfetch that's already holding one. You give your Farfetch the large leak, and what that's supposed to do is boost up his critical hit ratio a lot. A lot, a lot. And once you do that, you go into a battle, and then you also assign another item, but you have to use this in battle. This item is the Dire Hit, and it greatly increases the critical hit ratio of a Pokemon during battle. And between those two items, you're pretty much 100% guaranteed to get three critical hits. The challenge is having enemies that you can get three critical hits on. So either going against a trainer or doing what we did in our live stream, which was really simple. So now I'm going to show you what we did in our live stream when we actually did it, and I'm going to explain why we did what we did, and then you can kind of scale the same mindset into a different part of your game in case your Farfetch'd is a different level. Okay, so here's that. So what I'm gonna do is I already gave him the large leak. It's an item that you can find floating around throughout the wild area. It's a little sparkly thing. Give him a large leak. It's usually under the ingredients tab, I'm pretty sure. And then once you do that, you go and buy a dire hit and give that to him. Because the whole way you turn a Farfetch'd into a Surfetch'd is you have to have a battle where you're Farfetch'd. Dragon Breath, oh boy. That might hurt. Maybe it won't. You have to crit three times. So Onyx is a really good one for this level because Farfetch'd and Galar is a fighting type. Pretty sure Onyx is like a rock. I don't think he's part ground. I think he's just a rock. So the majority of his moves should be weak against Galar Farfetch'd. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a few of my moves here. I have several of them. I'm going to try to use one that is probably pretty weak. Yeah, Fury Cutter can hit a lot. Brutal Swing's pretty strong. I'm going to try Fury Cutter and hope it doesn't do a whole lot. And hope that he can take some hits. Because he's got a high defense. I think Fury Cutter might suck. If this doesn't work out, what I'll do is I'll try to get a move that is weak against an Onyx that I can teach to my Farfetch'd. Yeah, this still might... Okay, so that was a crit. Perfect. We just gotta get two more of those, right? There's another one. We might just do it real quick, first try. Look at my strategies, look at my strategies. <laughs> I wonder if he can evolve if he faints. <laughs> and ideally, this is a third crit. We got it! Sir Fetch is coming in! Oh, this was so simple! So yeah, easy way to do it. Find a Pokemon with a lot of, ooh, a lot of defense. And then get the large leak because that boosts up your crit percentage a lot. I don't know why, but it does. And then use a dire hit 
And then let's just finish him. And then he should turn into Sir Fetched here. Because the internet told me that three critical hits is how you do it. So let's see if he turns into the old Sir. It's a female Sir Fetched. Let's go, Brianna Tarth. So this should work right now, right? Ha ha! Here comes me Sir Fetched. That was easy. That was really easy. That's the first time we tried that. Dude! <laughs> so regal. So beautiful. That was really easy. That was really easy. That's really all there was to it. It was really simple. You saw how simple it was. Now, to answer questions here and uh, add a little bit more to the video for you, the reasons why you want a Sir Fetched is because he's a fighting type. And fighting type has so many things that it's good against. What do I have a list here? Fighting type is good against normal, which is the only thing that's good against normal. It's good against rock, it's good against steel, it's good against ice, and it's good against dark. Something else to know about your Sir Fetched is that once he evolves, his stats are pretty similar to what you'll see in a Machamp. I think Sir Fetched has a little bit higher defense, especially special defense, and a little bit lower HP. I can't remember speed, but other than that, they're pretty much equal. So Machamp's pretty tough, except you also get the extra critical hits with your Sir Fetched here with the large leak, which is pretty cool. And the final thing I wanted to explain was that we did a Farfetch'd versus an Onyx. I was level 20, Onyx was level 26. You can use that same type of mindset if your Farfetch'd is like level 30 something, like 35, 38 or something like that. There's a lot of Pokemon out there that have a high defense and low attack. Another good one in the Onyx line is Steelix. I'm pretty sure like, let's say you have a level 38 Farfetch'd. I'm pretty sure Steelix spawns somewhere around in here in the wild area, you can just apply the same concept. All you're trying to do is use weak moves and not take him down right away. And since he's a steel type, there's plenty of moves that are weak against steel. So you just have, again, just have to get the three critical hits. The leak and the dire hit will help you with that a lot. So I think that's it here. If you guys have any questions or you'd like to see other things, I can show you how to get a Gigamax Charmander in like no time at all via power leveling. Because I got my, I got my Farfetch from a level 20 to a level 71. Yeah, in one day. Due to some of the power leveling techniques that are available in Sword and Shield. Like, really, really fast power leveling. Or if you'd like to see these streams as we do them live, twitch.tv slash swingpoint. I do a lot of gameplay over on Twitch every single day around 10 p.m. Eastern and sometimes earlier. If you'd like to be a part of those streams, come say hi. Or maybe we can trade Pokemon and fill up our Pokedexes. I have a lot of work to do. So I could definitely use the help, but I'm sure you guys can use the help too. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. I hope this helps you out. And then I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here.